Hello everyone and welcome back to the Zeppelin Show. Sorry it's been three weeks and one day, so that's 22 days since I've last posted. But I'm here and today I'm going to do a tutorial video. This is new to my channel. Today's tutorial video is about how to understand Bradcast. Bradcast. Yeah. I'm sorry for the poor quality. And let's get started. <laughs> And now, if we open up this menu, it has all of these and you can make more. Anyways, so what this block basically does is that it makes a message. Oh yeah, my mom's playing Breath of the Wild. And anyways, this message, what does is that uh, it gives it to all the other sprites. But you might be wondering, why isn't it working? Because, yeah, nothing's happening. Well, that's because we haven't coded anything. Oh, I accidentally coded it for the apple. Let's just do it for the cat. Anyways, so what would you normally do is you would do one green flag clicked. Boring! Instead, when you need to go and get this block, when I receive and then you will use a message, move or it could be anything anyways so what you need to do now is since now when green flags clicked the apple will send a message to the cat because it's the only other sprite normally i would do it for all sprites so when I receive move, so when it receives the message move, yeah, then we'll do the action. So let's just go to motion and let's do move 10 steps. So now if we play the game, 
As you can see, the apple sent a message to the cats which made to move. Okay, now at first glance this doesn't seem all that useful. But when you get into other projects, this thing can be very useful. Let me just, just remove the music. So in this project, see the cube guy? Basically when he touches this bit, he sends a message to he say that th this thing should hide. And after a few times, it will say, like, this has to show. And when it receives end, it hides itself. Oh, but, so this thing is very useful oh, and if you use it enough you can make a very cool game and also you might be wondering what is this game? Well you just have to find out. That's right I made a video game on Scratch. It's called Claire. Yeah, we hit name. It's Claire because you click stuff to make stuff work. See, all the stuff lights up because I clicked them. So if we click like this, and it made them well die. <laughs> so uh, what? Uh, come check out this game. Um, and I'm really proud of it, and you should go ahead and play it. And with it, you can make stuff like this. You might be wondering how this is happening. Well, I'm going to explain it for you. So, with this one green flag clip thing, and it sends a signal to not only a, the cat, but also the cheese puffs, because why not? Right. And when the cat receives move, it steps, so he steps. When these cube these buffs helps get it, it and they move they change the X X by ten. Then wait one second. Then send move. Move. Then the cat steps again. Then the apple has this has code. When it through it receives move. It changes its at x by negative ten. And wait one second. Then and and make all the others receive move. And the base and the cat steps. And then and it and these I got the uh, name cheese puffs. Yes, does this head again, and so on and so forth. And that's how this was made. So now you understand how to use them. So I think that's pretty cool. And also, we're playing my game in class. Uh, and follow me on Scratch and follow me on my studio called VAQ as well. So, yeah, that's the video.